and this looks expensive because it is it's good it's good i unfortunately am not going on a european vacation Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I have a try on styling haul featuring Everlane. My hair is looking kind of crazy today. I did hot rollers and we're just getting a lot of volume with these new layers that I put in so just bear with me. Um, but anyway I had filmed my recent spring capsule wardrobe which I'll throw up in the cards if you have not seen it already and when I was doing it I was just like wow. I have a lot of Everlane pieces that go from one season to the next year over year over year. Like I'm obsessed with their clothing, the quality, the wash, the wear. It's pricey. I'm not even gonna front with you guys. It is borderline on my very expensive side. It's like Abercrombie prices, but it really never goes on sale, honestly, which is I don't even buy Abercrombie full price, so I have a hard time spending the money on Everlane, but the pieces, I have two pairs of jeans, this shirt, another long sleeve, and then um, I think two t-shirts as well. Uh, and I love them. They go from, like, they're in every single one of my capsule wardrobes. And so when I filmed that video, I was like, I haven't shopped there in a hot minute. I think the message that I want to get across, because when I do brands that are much pricier, a lot of people are like, I love it, but... Ugh, and I get it but what I wanted to share with you is I styled these pieces like so many different ways because I got five pieces and it was like like 800 bucks I was like Ugh. um one was shoes those are expensive but it's pricey stuff but the versatility the like the simplicity everything about it is so good that I'm like I get it I understand why and it's been in my wardrobe for a while I wash I wear these items all the time you guys see it if you are not new so I was like okay I can justify doing it because I really do know and love these pieces and the versatility that I get out of them so I'm super excited to share with you the pieces that I picked up this in no way is sponsored if Everlane does want to sponsor me I'm your biggest fan <laughs> but I wanted to share with you some pieces that I picked up to add to my spring wardrobe so let's go ahead and jump in the first being this tank maxi dress which honestly when I first saw it I was like eh, it's cute it's nothing like blow your mind in terms of like I don't know it's just simple right and it's pricey but the amount of ways that I was able to style this because it is such a classic like amazing fit is kind of crazy I was like okay girl you've styled that enough ways I think I styled it like six or seven different ways um it is organic cotton most things from Everlane are organic cotton it'll like say it on the thing I got this true to size I love that I can wear a normal bra with this it's not like cut in on the back it's a very straight silhouette so you're not showing anything that you have to offer underneath this but I do not care I'm a pretty modest dresser so if you are similar I think you will love this I mean it's a thicker cotton but it's so breathable and I think it would be perfect for the spring summer I love that it's not white but it's kind of like that creamy ivory color I was just blown away at how many ways that I honestly would wear this and I was like I think I need this and I know I know it's pricey and I get it it's just a simple tank dress but the quality once you feel it and just the the way it sits on your body I feel like if these t-shirt dresses are too thin they wrinkle really easy and they don't look expensive if that makes sense and this looks expensive because it is but it looks the price that it is honestly it looks even nicer I think this is so freaking cute and I was blown away at how many ways I will style this and it's definitely staying in my spring capsule wardrobe and that says a lot for me because I'm not even a dress girl but this is like I, I don't have to worry about anything hanging out it's a maxi or it's more of like a midi but I love this I can wear it with so many different shoes you can dress it casual with sneakers sandals like it's good it's good all right, the next piece that I decided to grab was this navy sweater. And honestly, I think I'm going to size up to a medium in this. I wanted it to be a bit 
more oversized. It is a nice fit right now, but on the model it said she was wearing a small and I don't know if she's just like significantly smaller than I am and she looked taller than I was, but I felt like it looked more oversized on her and I like oversized sweaters and so I wanted this to be a bit more oversized, but if you want a like it's boxy but it's not oversized fit then go true to size um but this is nice it's not overly soft i always note that because i know some of y'all love really soft sweaters this is not overly soft but i feel like this material is going to hold up really well wash and wear like it's not going to pill or anything like that again i think all their stuff is organic cotton one thing i will say that i noticed that they don't do the little like e on their stuff anymore and that makes me sad or maybe it's just from my order but I have no E on any of the clothing pieces that I ordered which makes me sad I thought that small detail was so just classy and I loved it um but anyway this yeah it's just a basic cable knit sweater I like the big chunky bottom here you can pair this with shorts you can wear this with jeans um I think navy is a nice soft color to bring into the spring still you can kind of deepen up your look a little bit but I love it you can throw it over the shoulder which you guys know I love a good over the shoulder moment um and yeah I just thought this was super cute and I liked pairing it over that like midi dress as like giving you a different look especially if you work in like an office setting or something like that and it's kind of cold because AC then this would be perfect or if it gets chillier at night for you wherever you live I feel like spring is such a weird season like that I haven't experienced in a hot minute because I've lived where it's like already like 90 most springs um and here I'm realizing like one day it snows and the next day it's 80 so you know depending on where you live you know you might need a little sweater and I thought this one was so cute I do have a navy sweater like this but again it's not as oversized as I wanted which is why I decided to get this one so I'm going to do an exchange for a medium of this and I'm pretty sure Everlane does um what do I want to say the happy returns which is awesome so like you don't have to worry about packaging everything up and you can easily just drop it off and it gets shipped in one giant box with all the happy returns so that way it's not wasteful if that makes sense so I have no problem exchanging and trying to see if I can get this in a size medium and if I like the fit a little bit better you guys know I already love this um this is their boxy oxford I think this gets into every single one of my capsule wardrobes the versatility of this piece is insane you can wear shorts jeans skirts it looks like structured no matter what because it's that oxford thick material i'm obsessed with it i love the details on the side so i had to get another one i knew i wanted this piece for a while i have stripes in my wardrobe this is actually technically black stripes which i think it can go like look more blue black whatever i don't know it's kind of a gray um, because it's kind of got the um, like texture of the Oxford in them. These are just great staple basic shirts that can be dressed up a little bit more but can also be worn super casual. I love a good button up and Everlane this this shirt I, I can't even count the amount of times that I've worn it and when I said in my like spring capsule wardrobe like oh I've worn this shirt or I've had this for like three years now everyone was like three years is not that long and I'm like I get it but like or two years either way whatever but it is when you're like constantly like this is my job like I constantly am getting new clothes and styling new pieces and when I choose to wear pieces like name a other youtuber or influencer what I don't like to cover someone but you know what I mean somebody who's in social media who wears things all the time it's like not a common thing so when I say that like I've had something for two years might not seem like a big deal for the average person but for me it is so the fact that I bought it in another color also is just like yeah this is really good very 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 oversized I get mine in an extra small and it's still very boxy as you can tell but I love this fit and I just think Everlane does their oversized pieces so well that it's so classy and it's just Everlane is kind of a baby between like J Crew, Banana Republic um but more sustainable yeah I I love that piece so much okay and the last pair of clothing that I got the last item of clothing were the Everlane cheeky 90s jean these are the um yeah the 90s cheeky high rise no stretch 26 regular now I own this pair in um the ripped 
like ripped style as well which they no longer offer which are my favorite ripped jeans of all time um and i will say they're gonna fit snug on you at first but they wear so beautifully so if you're in between sizes and you're like this is tight but like it's not like tight keep it because they stretch they like mend to your body after a couple times of wearing them because it's a true denim with no stretch. I wanted just a classic pair of no rips, no distressing, no nothing of like a medium light wash jean. And this is it. I did get a pair from Abercrombie recently, but it's a different kind of fit than this and it's a different color. So I'm gonna keep these as well. I love Everlane jeans. They were the first pair of, or the first like style and brand that I fell in love with outside of Abercrombie and Hollister, which were the only jeans I wore since high school essentially. So yeah, they're good. I love Everlane jeans. Again, they're pricey. I'm not gonna say that they're not, but they're like a really nice denim. I feel like you, there's no like, I don't know. They're just reinforced. I feel like they're going to hold up forever. I've had my other ones for a while and I love them and they do have a button fly. But if you're not a, like if you're a stretchy girl, these are not it for you. But these are such a nice classic fit of denim. And I think that color and that fit is, it's everything. And they do, they do loosen up and mold to the body. So keep that in mind. I would, I hate when I buy a pair of jeans and then I like stretch them out and I'm like, oh, I should have gotten the size smaller. They always say, get the smaller size. They will kind of, if it's a true denim, it will stretch to your body. So, and then the last piece that I got were these little shoes, which I thought these were so freaking cute. Unfortunately, they're too small for me. I thought I got a six, seven, but I guess I got a six um unfortunately these are unisex so you can wear men or women can wear these shoes i just thought these were so freaking cute i'm a sneaker girl like i just threw and through am and i love sneakers like this i thought these would be super cute because i figured they could be worn with dresses with jeans with shorts i love the coloring this like royal blue and the little bit of a red the gum sole i'm gonna try the seven in them um they're pricey Mm, they're really cute and I love sneakers but I'm like do I need them but hear me out these are like so freaking light and they're those sneakers that you can get like wet not that you want to get wet but they can get wet and they'll dry really easy because they're kind of like a canvasy material these will be the perfect shoe if you're going on like a European vacation I unfortunately am not going on a European vacation because I have childs and responsibilities but if you're young wild and free or whatever wear these on a European vacation because <laughs> these are so light and they're like supportive and squishy but you can wear them with so many different things and I feel like a sneaker is perfect to wear for like a city that you're going to do a lot of walking in and I just think these are fun and different I feel like they're fun and different and I love them but unfortunately they're not my size so what do you think should I keep the the shoes that's the one thing I'm like on the fence with. I need to exchange them anyways but what do we think do we need do I need another pair of sneakers in my life I'm looking at my Vejas, I'm looking at my Adidas Sambas, <clears throat> Samba that I just got. I'm looking at all of my sneakers and I'm like, no girl, you don't, but like, kinda, right? So anyways, that is it, that is my little Everlane haul. Not huge because it's pricey, but I'm telling you if you find some staple pieces that you look at and you think, oh my god, I could wear that a million different ways, like I hope this video helped you with that, is that Pieces are worth investing in if you can wear them so many different ways. And I've found that to be the case with me and Everlane. I'm a huge fan. So I hope this video helped you get some inspiration on different ways that you can take very basic, simple pieces that are pricey, invest in them, and be able to wear them so many different ways. And all those pieces also aren't just for spring, aren't just for summer. They can be worn all year round. And yeah, I'm sure you will see some of those pieces in my next capsule wardrobe coming soon. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.